Harry Potter? That's my Voldemort impression. Should probably cut this chicken more. But I just couldn't be fucked. <laughs> Welcome to the YouTube video. Got a push day today, which you haven't seen me do yet, at least recently, because I suck at pushing. Um, but hopefully I get just a big pump to make up for it. Feeling super tired, but the show goes on. I don't know, I think what we've trained, last two videos were legs, legs and back in one video, and then legs just was the other one. So this is something that I haven't trained for a while on camera, mostly because pushing, I just suck at pushing. I'm insecure about my pushing. But I'm not gonna get better at something if you don't do it. I still like push days. Got a little arms in there too, so. Take you guys through the workout. Get a juicy pump. And all is dandy. It's kind of like pudding. Which I don't even like, but this is pretty good. The texture is a little off-putting. Fuck, I'm such a genius. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I really don't care too much about what my food tastes like. Slash, I'm also just not that picky. So that's why my meals tend to be pretty boring, pretty repetitive. The less brain power I have to put in to my food, the better. Because I have very limited amount of that stuff to go around. Pre-workout meal. Uh, different than the last time. 250 grams of jasmine rice, 150 grams of chicken, 150 grams of banana. Um, I opt for frozen banana because I fucking hate bananas and fresh bananas just go bad. Like they're good for like a half an hour. They're like not ripe, not ripe, not ripe. And then at like three in the morning it must be, they're like perfectly ripe for like 45 minutes and then they're fucking brown town. So fuck regular bananas. And then carrot. 25 grams of carrot or something like that, which is like two bites, but that's just in there to reduce the rate at which this meal digests. Harry Potter! That's my Voldemort impression. Okay, pre workout. I'm not gonna go through the whole fucking 10 minute pre workout concoction. Today's a bit more simple. I'm tired. Go figure, eh? Surprise, Evan's tired. So I'm just gonna rip two scoops of mode right to the dome. Code Evan. I'm gonna do two scoops so that I look the strongest that I can on camera and the coolest. That's uh, 350 milligrams of caffeine, I think, because it's 175 per scoop. Full dose of citrulline. And then in my intra workout, I'll do two scoops of carb powder and another scoop of nitric, that kind of thing. Sodium gang. Oh my God. Apparently you need to have higher than room temperature IQ to put a cap on this thing. Maybe I'm not strong enough. Quick, to the Subi. Okay, so for the longest time I've had a shoulder problem and everybody's shoulder problems are gonna be different. The shoulder is a very complex joint. But since I've started doing this, it has really helped my shoulder. And I think that it's a, my shoulder problem is kind of a common issue in the sense that it's due to instability or weakness in um, some, some pretty common muscle groups, serratus anterior and lower trap specifically and this movement addresses both of those. So if you have a shoulder issue that's more, not so much pain oriented, but maybe your shoulders just kind of feel weak and stuff, it's worth a shot to do this for uh, as part of your warm up a couple of times, maybe for a couple of weeks and just see if it helps.
general principle, like the cues, it's just a chest supported, slow tempo Y raise. And you just wanna make sure you're kind of like reaching as far away from you the entire time. So at the bottom, you're reaching toward the floor. And then as you raise up, you're reaching as far away from you as you can. And you wanna go slow and you wanna stop when you start to feel upper trap front delt because the focus is serratus anterior, which is that muscle that's kind of like on your ribs and uh, lower trap. So I find it really helps me get my shoulders, like they feel really stable doing pressing movements afterwards, um, whereas typically they're the opposite. And I get really bad, like my shoulder rounds forward and it becomes every press movement becomes a front delt movement. So that would be my advice for one of the shoulder movements I've done, and I've done a lot, because I've had this shoulder problem for a long time, that has actually helped. Like, fuck all that shit. That's just, unless you have like a, a damaged rotator cuff, like an injury where you tore it or something like that, you don't need to do all this bullshit. Like, your rotator cuff is not meant to like sustain a ton of load. So strengthening your rotator cuff is just going to increase the inefficient compensation pattern that your body has developed to make up for weakness in other areas. You can hear it.
that? You get that? Yeah. You get that? I mean, it ain't the Subaru Impreza, but uh, it's pretty sweet. So, whoa. Even though my, I love my Subi, it's not like a high-end import, it's an import, right? But anyway, uh, next vehicle, as long as this one doesn't break down on me, which it shouldn't, that was part of the reason I bought it. Uh, BMW M3 G80. So 2021 or 22, that's the G80 chassis. That's gonna be my next car, I think, I hope. I mean, I love the Subi, but you know, it's just, it's a little too cool. It's a little too flashy. So I just want to like tone it down a little bit. It's too fast. Alrighty guys. So, uh, workout finished, started with calves because I think I've explained this in like the last video. Um, they're a lagging body part, so I'll start with them. I've, I'm more fresh in the beginning. You can provide a greater growth stimulus. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, you can use code Evan on Young LA for clothing or Gorilla Mind for supplements um, for a discount and to support me. I really appreciate it. Um, it is the foundational reason that I'm able to do what I do, um, providing content and you know value for you guys. Um, so feel free and if you ever use my code on anything take a screenshot of the order with my code applied and dm me on instagram so i can thank you personally um but yeah i appreciate you guys like the video if you did like it and comment anything at all comment balls butthole i don't care it's good for the algo and sub the channel if you feel so inclined uh, again really appreciate it um really working on getting this YouTube grind becoming like a very regular thing. So I'll see you guys in the next one.